everybody, here's some good news. 11-year-old Yevgeny Salander recently discovered a 30,000-year-old woolly mammoth carcass frozen in the permafrost not far from his home in the Russian province of Siberia. The mammoth would have stood 6 feet 6 inches tall and weighed 1,100 pounds and is estimated to have been approximately 16 years old when it died. Wounds on the mammoth's body suggest it may have been killed either by another mammoth or by humans. It's the best preserved mammoth found in Russia in over a hundred years. Absolutely an incredible discovery. How about this one? John Gurdon, a British scientist whose breakthrough work was conducted over 50 years ago, and Shinya Yamanaka, a Japanese scientist who then built on the foundation established by Gurdon, have both been awarded the 2012 Nobel Prize for Medicine. In 1962, Gurdon inserted genetic material from a mature cell into a fertilized egg cell, which then began to divide and develop normally, successfully cloning a frog and demonstrating that adult cells could be made to function as stem cells. In 2006 and 2007, Yamanaka developed a technique for doing just that. By introducing certain genes into mature cells, he was able to induce them to revert to an earlier embryonic stage of development. In other words, the dude figured out how to make embryonic stem cells without harvesting them from embryos. Gene therapies using induced stem cells created with Yamanaka's method are being developed all over the globe right this moment. That is good news, and so is this richly deserved recognition for John Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka, the two men whose genius and hard work made that research and the breakthroughs it is sure to yield in the years to come possible. And last but certainly not least, get a load of this. An experiment conducted at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Livermore, California may have provided the answer to one of the most important questions in astrophysics. How does stellar matter come together to form stars and planets? According to the findings of this experiment published in the journal Nature Physics, the answer might be in part self-organized electromagnetic fields. These fields are generated by streaming plasma and they can cause the particles which constitute that plasma to become organized in ways that can lead to the formation of structures like stars and planets. This story is yet another example of how science allows us to answer our questions increase our knowledge and understanding of the universe and show ourselves a world that only grows more wondrous and amazing the better we get to know it. Lots of science news this time. An ancient mammoth unearthed in a Russian boy's backyard, a Nobel Prize for two of the giants of stem cell research, and a discovery that helps us better understand how astronomical objects put themselves together. That is the good news.